Hello everybody, welcome back to GeoGuessr. Uh, a lot of you voted, and you have decided that you want me to play some more GeoGuessr. So, what are we going to do? We're going to play some more uh, motherfucking GeoGuessr. I like this game, a lot. Uh, that being said, do I have any freaking clue where I am? No. Uh, that is in either Spanish or Portuguese. Cristina Aguilas. That could either be, like, a church, or they're, you know, referencing hip-hop star Christina Aguilera's concert coming to this area sometime in the next century. I don't think it's that one. Okay, let's, uh, very crowded area. Let's take a look at everything here. Bocados. They're selling some taptitos. I, it's not really helping me a whole lot. We're in a good, like, place to learn stuff. We should be able to find some kind of sign that helps us uh, determine where we're at. Unisex. I'm not sure that's going to help us a whole lot. Oh, yeah, we're in Michigan. Uh, that's where we are. That said nobody ever. Okay, Mechanico. So there's a mechanic over there. That is a taxi that has uh, Mater from Cars on the front of it. <laughs> a little bit interesting. Uh, did we come from this way? I don't know. Let's go this way. I'm really thinking we're in either Central or South America. Or Mexico. Which we very well, like, could be in Mexico. Uh, if we can zoom in and just see anything here. I really don't know any of Mexico's, uh, you know, area codes. So, my apologies that I'm not fluent in... Spanish and, you know, Mexican culture when I live in, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, home of the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the world championship. Just got to mention that every once in a while. Okay, Quaker State and Lube. <laughs> okay, let's uh, continue down here. That looked like a Pizza Hut for a second. Can we zoom in on, apparently it doesn't, well, there we go. Uh... God, you really can't make out a whole lot of anything there. Cuidado. Cuidado means something in Spanish. City, I believe. I could be entirely wrong. If you speak Spanish, please don't be offended by my video, okay? Uh, I'm just a loving man trying to find where we're going in the world of GeoGuessr. Uh, I don't... I'm not trying to, you know, compromise your language in any way, shape, or form. Or if you're studying Spanish and you're actually studying English and you're like, Hey, stupid, you took four years of Spanish, you don't even know what cuidado means? Look, man, I, I got B's in Spanish because I just didn't care about it. Which now makes me sound like an a-hole. Wow, you don't care about the Spanish culture. You know, well, you know, why are we watching this guy play GeoGuessr? Are we driving backwards? Is that what's going on? We've already been here, or these signs are just everywhere. Let's take a quick look. Let's see if we can figure anything out here. Uh, is that a Facebook? Uh, okay, we can go to facebook.com slash avocados is what it looked like. Uh, and les cuidado a tizapan and desarallo. You know, I really, really, really want to say Mexico. Is there not... I mean, is there some kind of Acapulco? No, we're probably not in Acapulco. Uh, Ciudad del Carmen? Ciudado Atizapan. Please just help me find Atizapan. I really should not just be looking around here in the hopes of finding Atizapan. Apazinga? I mean, that's pretty close. It's got an A in it. Uh, let's let's continue looking for a little bit. I feel like this is one where we have like the utmost opportunity to get as close as possible on this. I mean, all we need is you know some road signs saying, "Oh, geez, the whole uh, city decided to come over here for a little bit." These people look Mexican. That sounds a little bit racist, but they do. They have uh, a darker skin tone, which tells me that, you know, South America is not exactly a bad guess either. Atizapar. 
Man, it really makes you think that Atizapar is actually, like, the city that we're in. Atizapar. Atizapar. I'm not finding an Atizapar. We could search for days and still not find uh, a tease apart in here. My worst case scenario right now is that we go to uh, guess Mexico and we end up being like southern Brazil, man. That would be horrible. If we can just find something like a Mexican flag or uh, you know a sign saying "Hello, uh, you are leaving Mexico City," a tease apart. See you, Dodd. Uh, that would be incredible as well, but I don't see that happening. Can we zoom in on this? Oceano Pacifico. Are we in Baja freaking California? Atizapar. La Paz. Atizapar. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oceano Pacifico means that we are on the Pacific Coast. That's the kind of stuff that we, uh, is good to know. Could we be on Isla Santa Margarita? We could be. See you, God. No, 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 no. Adolfo? See you, God. Insurgencies? La Posa Grande? Ah! Do we just make a guess and say that we are on Baja, California? That sounds like it'd be a real good guess, at least. I would love to know if we are, like, so close we can taste it. There doesn't appear to be, like, a huge number of cities in Baja, California. Uh, Atizapar, that's the name of this place. Osmar, that's another name of this place. We're looking for Osmar or Antisapar. Which, you know, there's Tijuana. You know what, uh... God, I feel like we should just make a guess... Uh, I'm gonna say we are in Baja, California, sir, right in Ciudad Constitucion. Please don't be in Brazil. Okay, we were actually, like, smack dab in the middle of Mexico City, <laughs> which is, uh, kind of ironic, but you know what? We were in the right, uh, city here, or right country, which is good enough for me, uh, and now we're gonna, you know, not even get close to this one. God, where in the world is Carmen San Diego on this one? Uh, my fur. Oh, there's an English word, sale, which means a place in which you can buy stuff at a cheaper price than usual. This does not look like uh, the U.S., though, if I'm being honest with you. The road doesn't look very U.S. -ian. Uh, Let's take a quick look at this road sign uh, just to make sure. That we're not give way. I mean, I've never heard of a give way. But, I mean, that is English. Could we be in something like uh, Tasmanian Trail? Don't tell me we're in freaking Tasmania. Do people in Tasmania speak English? Is this something that I've been unaware of? Let's check this sign. Uh, the cafe is open. Daily specials available from $7. Pretty damn okay. Uh, I'm starting to believe that we are in America. Uh, you know what? Are the tiki heads that way? Can we take a closer look at this sign? Uh, please allow me to go in this direction ever so slightly. Okay. This direction ever so slightly. Tiki head this way? What, what does that even say? information that way maybe is that an eye i'm down for some information let's let's follow the eye here uh if we can find maybe you know something I'll, okay now hold up was that you know the speed limit sign that that's not a u.s speed limit sign so what the frick man uh are we not in the united states are we actually in canada is this the home of the you know Canucks? I, I can't read that. Uh, no. We are in Australia. Excellent. Uh, I've never been more upset in my life. Okay, so we are actually in Australia. 
which is good to know, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, now, do we attempt to even look for where we could be in Australia, or do we just plop ourselves in South Australia, which is what I normally do, uh, and call it a day? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. I'll take a look at the bug car real quick. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I, I see no reason to really spend a lot of time. We're going to be in South Australia. This place looks fairly green. We're going to go a little outside of Adelaide. And we were, we were in Tasmania. Oh, game, game, game. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this one's going to be fun. Okay, first guess, Wyoming. Second guess, Kansas. Third guess, we're in Australia again. I mean, this is your straight-up classic, uh, hello, we're in the middle of nowhere, GeoGuessr type uh, setup. This could be South Africa. Uh, if we can figure out if we're driving on the right or left side of the road, we can rule out the Americas, and then it comes down to, uh, basically what happens is, if we can find out that we're moving on the right side of the road, we are for sure in the U.S., is my, like, current guarantee. But it does appear like we just passed a road sign, uh, which is telling me we're driving on the left. We are in either Australia or South Africa. Uh, we are definitely in uh, one of those two. And I'm, I really, really, really want to say South Africa just because the game screws me all the time uh, by saying that I'm in uh, South Africa when I pick Australia. But this could very well be Australia. Like, I have zero proof that this is anything other than Australia. South Africa does drive on the left side of the road. Thank you for all of those that uh, submitted that to me via a comment. Can we take a look at this car? Do you provide any benefit to me whatsoever? You don't. Okay. Can't see your license plate either. Just a little bit of a slap in the face. You know, I would go and try and steal your car somewhere, but, uh, you know, I live in Cleveland. I'm not really looking to steal anything from you, especially if you live in uh, Australia. It's a little bit of a hike for me to get there. I mean, it's not like it's a hike to get to South Africa or anything either, but, uh, you know, it's not on my to-do list. Okay, let's... Here, this is a sign. This is a sign. I'm yelling timber. Okay. Please say like, oh, come join the resort located in South Africa. Uh, Great North West. Cloncurry. What does that other word say? Can we zoom up a little bit? Cloncurry. Great North West. Is there a Great Northwest in Australia? North Territory. What about in, uh, you know, stupid little South Africa down here? The Great Northwest. Are we near Johannesburg? It's a pretty good city in South Africa. They appear to be by water. We could be in uh, Richards Bay. We could be near Durban. Right, that's my current guess. We are near Durban. But, uh, let's, let's continue down this road for a little bit. Quality's real bad. Uh, you know, it used to be where if the quality was bad, Australia was usually your go-to place. But, uh, you know, that went out the window. God, this looks so much like it could be Australia or South Africa. We're literally driving down a freaking straight path through a savanna. Please just provide some, you know, fly a giant flag over that is the Australian flag. And I will be content to just put down Australia and leave. This place has not seen water for days, uh, maybe years, could be centuries. Got another sign up here. You know, welcome to Australia. Overtaking lane. Yeah. Thank you. I, I wasn't planning on overtaking any lanes. Because I'm the only damn car driving on this road. I'm just looking to make some form of educated guess on where we are. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss a coin. 
Okay, let me let me grab a uh, quarter here. Okay, uh, it's actually a nickel. We're gonna go heads Australia, tails is uh, South Africa near Durban. Okay, flipped it, and it is tails. So we're going near South Africa, near Durban, making my guess, and we were in Australia. Screw me, man. Four points. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, are we back in Mexico again? Is this the Australia and Mexico seed that I was unaware of? This could not be Mexico. Multiple limps. Uh, I do enjoy some limp. There's pools in there. Piscina's pool. That's Spanish. Then again, I don't know if uh, Piscina also is Portuguese for pool. You know how my teacher taught me uh, Piscina means pool? Don't piss in the pool. That's my teacher said that. Okay, let's, uh, Santo Antonio. Okay, now, one would make a wild assumption that Santo Antonio means that we're in San Antonio, Texas. But I'm going off on a limb. I'm saying we're probably not in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is a little bit, uh, a little bit more built up than this. Never been there, but I'd assume that uh, Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili aren't playing in this area. Okay. I'll be honest with you. Current guess, we're back in Mexico. Where in Mexico? <laughs> Beats me, man. At this point, I'm going to throw us in Mexico City and call it a day. Uh, Grafica Magil. I mean, uh, beats me what that means. Uh, license plate? I mean... Alfredo here is blocking it. What does this say? Anicio. No ease. Well, no ease to you too. Uh, where... Pare. Pare means... I mean, in Europe, all stop signs have to say stop. It's the universal thing now. So, we're probably not in Spain. Which is a good thing to actually uh, knock out here. Because if we're going to be in South America, or Central America, or Mexico... Those are all pretty damn close. So, uh, whatever we do, we're going to be pretty okay. I feel like we could, once again, get close on this one. Uh, but the other part of me... Oh, hello, how are you? Uh, the other part of me is like... I'm not finding a whole lot of anything. Flags? No, that's literally just like a very checkerboard pattern. Thank you for informing me that that's a garage. This seems like a nice part of town. Uh, a good amount of shopping districts here. Uh, this seems like the world's sketchiest restaurant. Sedatura. Good for you. I agree completely. Uh, we're now in like... How did this place get so modern so fast? <laughs> and why are we like zooming ahead so quickly everywhere we go? Okay, let's go up. I will use... I'll use the arrow keys instead of my mouse for once. Uh... Just use the mouse to look around. 20% off on this guy. Maybe. This could actually be a good sign for us. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Are you saying anything too, too spectacular? Uh, any... God, you can't even read it. And now he's gone for the count. Oh, this is... We just got like HD. Let's go. Uh, mm, yeah. A lot of uh, Spanish words, I don't know. It's a problem. Okay, uh, let's head that way. Let's take a look at this sign. What are you saying? Alan. Good for you, Alan. Uh, not seeing a whole lot here. Uh, wait. I've discovered something www.senamiga.com.br What is B Brazil? We're in Brazil. Okay. Uh, where in Brazil are we? This looks like a nice part of town. I'm saying that we are in Salvador. Why not? Make the guess. Move on with our day. We were actually near uh, Belo Horizonte. A little outside of it, near Divinopolis, uh, and sitting right in Nova Serrana. You know what? I'm pretty content about that, because I was going to put us in Mexico City, uh, and instead we ended up being in Brazil, 
uh, just one simple sign helped us determine that BR is in fact Brazil. Now, this is a nice site. Why? Uh, because we are not in uh, we are not in Mexico. We are not in Australia. We are not in Brazil. This is likely, if I had to throw out a guest right now, we're in Canada. But I don't want to make that guess quite yet. I mean, these cars are not European. Uh, maximum 100. I'd assume that that's kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. Because, I mean, we're either on the uh, one highway in Germany that you can go whatever speed you want. Or we're uh, dealing with kilometers. Because 100 miles per hour just is a little bit ridiculous. I would like it if we could actually get relatively close on this last one. This has been a horrible round. Uh, you know, two Australias, a Brazil, and a Mexico really hurt. <laughs> Usually, if you can get a U.S., you can get relatively close. You know, even in Europe, uh, you know, one city name and a hunch that, hey, we're in uh, you know, Yugoslavia, there's a chance that you're going to find exactly where you are. That was not the case in this one. More road signs are helpful. If it just says maximum 100 again, I'm going to be a little bit, you know, pissed off. Oh, we've now flown past that sign. I'm going to ignore it. My Wi-Fi is acting a little bit funky, so the game's, like, loading not as fast. But that's fine. It's not really affecting us right now. I mean, unless the Wi-Fi determines the really horrible seed that they gave us. <laughs> But let's, uh, let's continue on the road here. We're driving on the right side of the road. I mean, that's important, I suppose. Uh, but we already knew we weren't in Australia or something. So is that really a uh, fantastic discovery? I just, I would love to get to a point where we're actually, like, seeing something. Not just, you know, various birch and spruce trees along the side of the road. As great as that is, uh... Okay, a yield sign. That I mean, that's not exactly anything phenomenal either. Oh, we could enter into this area. I will zoom in. There is zero chance I'll be able to read what this says. We're right by the water. Now, that is actually an important discovery. And it's actually, like, we can maybe read this? Ah, uh, yeah. I can definitely read that. It says, uh hello <laughs> that's all it says okay you know what i'm thinking british columbia right now this looks like it could be you know vancouver-y i've never been to vancouver but you know pacific midwest this looks a little bit like what i would assume is out there i've been to california this is not california Northern California, maybe, but once again, I don't think that we're in the States just due to the maximum 100 sign, because I've never seen that before in my life. I can understand why somebody would want to go 100 down this road, though, because, you know, it's literally nothing. Passing lane, two kilometers. Okay, we're not in the U.S. That is telling me that we are, like, 150% in Canada. And British Columbia is as good a guess as any. If we can just get one, uh, like, hey, you are on the I-42, and then I can find the I-42, put us on it. Here we go. This is the good stuff. Crooked Feeder. What kind of name of a city is that? I mean, okay, we should look at the truck. Just look at it. Armored Transportation. That's a Canadian flag. It's looking like we're in Canada. I already said that a million times. Cro crooked feeder. Just where in Canada are we? We could be in freaking none of it. Or we could be in Saskatchewan. We could be in Alberta. You know, I don't know a hell of a lot about Canada. I know it's major states. We're near water. So that's actually a good thing to note. Uh, is we are near water. Which is why I originally thought British Columbia. But none of us. I mean, there, look at all the lakes up in this area. We could be right bordering the Hudson Bay in Manitoba. You never know. 
So let's uh let's take a venture at this sign here. I really want to get close on this last one. I mean, we've kind of crapped the bed on this run. Is that a Burger King up ahead? Uh, get excited. I'm on, this could actually provide us with some good stuff. Let's let's take a look. Uh, Deer Lake. Okay. Uh, Deer Lake. So let's go out. Well, this is actually good to know. Because if we're talking Deer Lake, that means that we likely are not on the Pacific Ocean. We are likely in Deer Lake. Uh, where the frick is Deer Lake? Sure as hell beats me. Uh, there is a lot of lakes in uh, Canada. Witch Lake. Clotch Lake. Uh, can't even see half of these lakes. Leo Creek. Taklo Lake. I feel like this is a fairly small lake. Uh, Germanson Lake, we're not there. Uh, zoom in on these. The Manson Lakes, that's where Charles Manson lives, is Manson Creek, Manson Lakes. Uh, you know, if we could find Crooked Feeder, that's another, you know, stellar place to live, I've heard. Uh, God, these lakes don't even have names. We could go to Mackenzie, the Morphe Lakes. Okay, uh, McLeod Lake, Bear Lake, no, we're on Deer Lake, but Bear Lake tells me that Crooked River, holy frick, this is where we are. Okay, uh, Heart Lake, no, Crooked Feeder, that, never mind, all, all is gone, <laughs> got excited for a second, okay, uh, keep zooming in, I'm, I'm reaching the give up point. I'll be honest with you, though, if I'm going to make a guess, it's going to be along this road. Red Rocky Lake. This seems like the kind of place that uh, Deer Lake would be sitting on. Crooked River. Deer Lake. Crystal Lake. Crystal Meth. What kind of crystals going on? Augustine Lake. Log Lake. Why are there so many damn lakes in Canada? Why? No. No, no. I mean, this is a big one. What kind of lake are you? Sure, you know, don't name that lake. No, that's Summit Lake. Deer Lake. Hubble Lake. Wilf Wiffs Lake. East Lake. Wait, where? Prince George? Are we in Prince George? Stewart River? I don't even know where we're at. This is all in British Columbia? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh... I, I don't even have a guess. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to put us right over here. I'm going to make the guess. Walk away. Yeah, sure. We were in freaking... Uh, what is the name of this damn island? Nova Scotia? Is that it? Newf Newfoundland. That's where we were. Nova Scotia is over there. So, that, you know, it's horrible. We were in Canada. Sure. Uh, you know, if you zoom in right here. Oh, look. Deer Lake. Shocker. Uh, is a uh, crooked feeder over here somewhere, please? Crooked feeder? Where, where you at, crooked feeder? It's not even on the damn map. Sure. Uh, that was a horrible geoguesser round. We ended up with, uh, you know, 7,000 points. It's horrible. It's real damn bad. Uh, I'm a little bit... that That's a little uh, much to say that we were that off. I mean, we were only going to there. But, uh... Ah, <sighs> it's frustrating, man. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, this was a longer one, but that's okay. If you enjoyed, leave a like so I know that you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!